Hello, this is Azrae, and today I'm going to share with you my version of a weight loss journey spell. Um, to start off with, I'll show you some of the ingredients and tools that I'll use in this weight loss spell. Um, you're going to want to have a yellow candle. This particular spell is focusing on willpower and mental power and transformation. Um, yellow is a great color for that. So you have a yellow candle. You're going to want to get a yellow piece of ribbon. It, this is too short. I have to get a, a longer piece of ribbon. I would say a good um, foot in length. You're going to want to get a piece of paper. Um, you're going to write down during your spell some of your weight loss goals. So get a piece of paper and a pen. I have a, a quill and dragon's blood ink, so I'm going to use that to write down my goals on my paper. You're going to want to assemble your herbs. Now, the herbs that I'm going to be using are rose, which in this spell corresponds to transformation, and I also added lemon balm which in this spell corresponds to success. I put them in this little bead container. I got these at Walmart. They're little little containers that you can put beads in. Uh, you can find a 24 pack of these for less than nine dollars at Walmart, but I call this my my weight loss blend and I keep a number of these prepackaged and prepared uh, for quick spells throughout um, the year. Okay, uh, next I have a spell globe, and if you've never seen these before, a lot of people buy these and use these to make bath bombs. Um, they're also used, I think they were originally med, meant to be used to make homemade Christmas ornaments around Christmas time, but they're plastic or acrylic balls that open in half. You can fill them up with your herbs, your oils, maybe your spell. You write your spell on a piece of paper, fold it up and put it in here, close it up, align the holes at the top, run a ribbon through it and hang it. That's how I'm going to be using my um, spell globe today. You can find these again for about $9.99 for a pack of 12 on Amazon and you just just type in plastic ornament balls and these will come up. This is the 40 millimeter size, I think. Okay. Now let's oh, uh, and then lastly, I've got my oil. Now I'm going to be using Van Van oil in my spell. But you can use whatever oil that you have on hand that will make sense in a transformation uh, or willpower spell. But I'm just going to talk a real short bit about this Van Van oil. Um, Van Van oil is used in the hoodoo tradition and it's often used as an all-purpose oil to anoint altars. It can be used as a substitute for any other oil. You can see how loaded it is with lemongrass. This particular brand, the Earth's Cauldron, I think I got it from, it's just chock full of lemongrass. Lemongra lemongrass is what gives Van Van oil its flexibility, in fact. But um, Van Van oil can be used for purification. It can be used as a road opener oil. Like I said, it's so flexible. There's so many uses to this oil. But finally, it's sometimes used as a turnaround oil. And that's why I'm using it in my weight loss spell. I'm going to turn my life around. I'm going to turn around bad habits, replace them with good eating and healthy habits so that I can lose weight. <coughs> Excuse me. So, if you don't have Van Van oil, I'd recommend obtaining some. It's a great all-purpose oil to have in your in your cabinet. Okay. Now let's init begin the spell. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to light 
the yellow candle. I'm going to set the clear the space and set the tone. Yellow again represents willpower, mental power, the power of the mind. And I know that if I overeat, it's, it's more mental. I have a craving. It's all in my head. A lot of times if I crave something, I'm not necessarily hungry. I just crave it. And it's a mental exercise to go past that craving and not give in to it. Um, so I'm going to be focusing on some techniques and some tips and tricks that I can employ as I meditate on this yellow candle to try to cheat those cravings, to not give in to those cravings. I'm going to imagine myself walking into a kitchen, craving some chips and walking right out and forgetting about it. I'm going to imagine myself being successful doing that. Okay, next I'm going to take my paper and I'm going to dip, I'm not doing it right now, but I'll, what I would do is I dip my ink or I get my, get my pen and I'm going to write down some thoughts about how I'm going to approach my weight loss journey. For example, I might write down how I think I'm going to feel when I'm thinner, how much more energy I think I'm going to have when I've lost my weight. Uh, I might even write down some ideas to reward myself if I reach certain milestones. And then lastly, I'm going to write down a statement that captures my goal, a simple statement. Um, I'm going to write down, I want to lose 40 pounds. Plain and simple. I'm just going to write that down, keep it simple. Okay. Next, I'm going to take my Van Van oil, or you would take whatever oil that you have that you want to use. I'm going to anoint my goal, my goals. I've wrote my goal, written my goals down. I'm going to anoint those goals with the power of Van Van oil. It's purifying, it's road opening, it's turnaround. This oil smells so good. It smells like a strong lemongrass. Oh, I like it a lot. Next, I'm going to take my spell globe. I'm going to set the my goal sheet to the side. I'm going to take my spell globe, open it up, and I'm going to place my spell herbs. And I'm going to meditate on what these herbs represent. And again, I've got rose petals which represent transformation I'm going to transform not only my body but I'm going to transform the way I think about eating and the way I think about living a healthy lifestyle and I'm also going to meditate on how successful I know that I can be lemon balm denotes success and I will be successful I'm committed and determined to be successful in my weight loss goals now I'm going to take my my goals paper that I wrote my goals on. I remember I wrote, I didn't do it on this uh, demonstration, but we wrote our goals on this paper. Fold it up, let's say in the fourths. Place it in your spell go globe. Take the other half. Close it up. Take your yellow ribbon, and again, the color yellow is significant. It represents transformation. It represents uh, mental power and willpower. Tie it up. Here's my spell globe. And as I'm doing this, um, I'm meditating and creating a picture in my mind of what I'm going to look like and what I'm going to feel like when I reach my weight loss goal. I should also point out that it's at about this time that you may want to invoke a god or goddess or you might like to recite an incantation of your choice. Once that's done, you take your candle, bring it up to you, take this candle 
and you're going to blow out this candle and when you blow it out you're going to envision your intent flowing along with the smoke out into the universe <sighs> As for the globe itself, what I'm going to do is I'm going to meditate a little bit longer on what this spell means to me and what my goals are and all the steps I'm going to take to act in accord to meet my, my goals. And um, what I'm going to do ultimately is take this globe, take a longer piece of string and tie it on my, uh, hang it from my kitchen curtain rod. So it'll be suspended above my kitchen sink. So every time I go into the kitchen to, say, grab a snack or make my meals, I'll see the spell globe and I'll be reminded of, um, of what my goals are. And I think it can be very, very successful. It can be very helpful for, for us. Well... <laughs> I hope you enjoyed watching this video and maybe you got some new ideas on how to do your own weight loss spell. Thanks for watching.